Okay, welcome back. Here's where we were at. I got the frame, in essence, stripped. I have the, um, um, we have the parts basically. I got the, the heads in the cylinder, the, uh, the four speed transmission. I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna put the five speed. We have the engine there, fenders, tank, speedometer, tack dash, bucket of parts, and we also have some parts down here. We have the triple trees, top and bottom, the crash guards. We have the spindle for the handlebars. And the next step really is going to be, um, um, we are really going to be, um, we gotta paint these. Oh, I'm sorry. And we have the, um, we have the center stand up front here as well. So I'm not gonna powder coat these and I'm not going to, first of all, I don't like powder coating. I've got a frame that's been powder coated and it is, I've got to chase out everything. So I'm not really a huge fan of that. Here's the drill. The paint on this thing is, is shockingly, I think it's okay. And what I want to do is I just want to sand it. So I want to sand it, get the rust off and then paint it. And I mean, I can make it look beautiful, I paint it and then clear coat it. So the paint on these things is really durable anyway. So it's just gouged and scratched all over the place. So I'm just going to sand this thing, clean it and paint it. And here are the parts that I need to do first. So I need to get the triple trees done. I need to get the center sand done. I need to get the frame done. So I get the frame done. I then do the center stand. I put the center stand on the bike. I can then basically stand it up on the, um, um, on the, uh, on my deck here. And then I work on doing the front, um, the front assembly. I've got to do the triple tree first. So top and bottom. So I'm going to clean those up, paint them, clear coat them, install them. We'll put new, um, bearings in. And once we are done with that, we will work on the, um, the forks there. I'm going to rebuild the forks. We need to actually paint the forks and clean them up. And we will then install the forks. And at that point, we will have the forks. Um, um, we will have the front assembly done. Not necessarily with the uh, uh, handlebars or anything like that, but we'll have that done. And, and at that point, we can actually put on the front tire. So it's a way to start building up. So I'm actually just going to start sanding. I may record a little bit of sanding, but the game plan is for me to... Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. It is the bolts that hold on the center stand. I am going to... Um, I'm going to plate them. So I don't know if I'm going to do the copycat or the... Uh, the nickel. I think I'm going to plate them nickel because I got some nickel brightener. I'm going to try, so I'm going to plate the. Um, um, I'm going to plate the bolts that hold that that are attached to the frame that hold up the center stand. So we'll see how that goes. And I do a couple test videos about how I do the plating. And again, I'm a novice with everything. I'm not an expert plater, but I just try to make it so that it looks really kind of nice. So and it protects it because once I once I get it down. Um, I don't want it to rust. And I have the, um, I have the crash guards there because they are incredible. Well, one's painted and one is rusty. So I'm going to clean those up and I'm actually going to try to plate those as well. I don't think I can plate the entire assembly in one pop, but that's okay. It is, um, um, uh, I can do at least half at a time and I'll just see how that goes. I'm just hoping there's not really a discernible mark. Um, so, okay, I'm going to sand for a little bit and I'll record it, but, and you can see how I do it.
time for another sandpaper. And I actually use a um, the sandpaper. This the sander has a little. Uh, uh, a dust collector and shockingly I mean there's really no dust coming out so I'm using an 80 grit first so I line up the uh, paper with the holes for the dust collection <laughs> Okay, we're still working. I've got probably maybe half the frame done. It's taken about five minutes so far. And I'm gonna use this sander and then I have like another little tiny detail one. This one's really working really well actually. Line up the holes. <laughs>
Try this little guy, see how this works. It works really well, actually.
Okay, I am pretty much done sanding these three main parts. Um, I did a pretty good job, I think, on the frame. It's going to pin up very nicely. And I sanded down the top triple tree and the lower. And they will turn out very well as well. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang these on my back porch. I have like a little... Uh, um, I bought a rack at Lowe's and I could hang these things and paint them. Um, so I'm going to hang them. I'm going to use, um, um, zip ties to hold it up and first we'll clean it and we're going to clean everything with acetone and I'm going to be painting these with chassis paint and it's high temperature. I don't know if it's necessarily epoxy, but it's high temperature um, chassis paint, chassis and frame paint. And it goes straight to metal. This one, I mean, there's some spots where I got down to the metal to get the rust out, but it goes straight to metal. And I am telling you, it is incredibly bonkers durable. And after we paint it, I'm going to clear coat everything too, just to give it another lay added layer of protection. And quite honestly, hopefully to make it last another 50 years. So it is, um, so stand by, I'm gonna hang these things up. And I probably am gonna show you me painting these things. Cause I don't think I've ever done that. And, and like I said, I'm gonna be painting these and, whoops, I've gotta do the center stand. I forgot to do the center stand. See the center stand over there? So I've gotta do that. So I'll do the center stand and I will, um, um, I'm going to hang them up and paint them. So stand by. <laughs> 